Kevin Benedict, Smack Analyst with Cognizant, and Smack's the acronym for Social Mobile Analytics and Cloud. And on that subject, I want to talk about mobile and analytics in particular today. And I have as guest SAP's Puneet Supple. Thanks for joining us, Puneet. Thank you, Kevin. I love doing these things for you. <laughs> so, so what's on your mind today? Let's, I want to know, you know, we hear about HANA in every different context here from the stage and in all the different sessions here. What is the interaction between enterprise mobility and HANA? What's the connection? Well, the connection actually is a very beautiful one, Kevin. Now, people tend to talk about these things as if they're separate worlds, but indeed they're not. <laughs> to talk about these things as if they're separate worlds, but indeed they're not. If you look at what HANA brings to the table, it allows an enterprise to operate a real-time business. When you're in that mode, you never really get the full benefit of real-time until and unless that information can be consumed in a real-time manner and can be interacted with in a real-time manner. How does one do that? One has to be able to make that available in a mobile fashion. In today's day and age, when everyone possesses multiple mobile devices, people are on the go, people want to be able to get their work done as and when they want to get it done, which means that two sides have to play very well with each other. Now, in the past, while we were trying to accomplish things with mobility, and indeed the world outside the HANA world tries to do it without HANA, there are still limitations because you don't get the full benefit of your mobile capability if you're not able to go in and out against the most granular form of data to be able to get the richest possible analysis you need. Also, you may not be able to always transact very easily because a lot of that analysis, a lot of that information coming to your mobile device is often staged and comes from systems other than your transactional system. And the reason for that is most transactional systems can't take the load of doing heavy duty analysis as well as running the business. With HANA, it, all that changes. With HANA, you are able to combine the power of analytics as well as transactions in one data store, which means you are able to take full advantage of all your capabilities. Now, when I use a mobile device, I am in full command because now I will be able to go back and forth, in and out, at my own pace, as and when it needs to happen. And therefore, I see the connection between mobility and uh, in-memory computing, or to be more specific, SAP HANA, very, very strongly. In fact, you will notice that a lot of our newer applications always have a mobile aspect to it. And the other thing that mobility does really is put on a very beautiful face for everything that HANA can deliver, because uh, people want to have a really uh, intuitive user experience as well. So, to, re to you know, summarize, I think it's a very strong connection, and we must view this as a Com comprehensive value proposition for the customer. You know, and thank you for that, um, Puneet. I also was at the Internet of Things area, in the mobility area, talking to uh, Suas, who runs kind of the M to M area, and he's showing off HANA underneath his machine to machine and Internet of Things as well for the exact same reason. It completes the picture, it gives business visibility to what's going on into the field. Oh, absolutely. I think that's phenomenal. Uh, in fact, you know, some of the uh, points of some of the examples I share with people when I'm discussing how the business suite on HANA makes life uh, so much better for them is really about what you can do from machine to machine type of communication. Because if you think about it, uh, if you are a manufacturing organization and you have all this equipment on your shop floor, wouldn't it be fabulous if they could self-diagnose uh, problems that are waiting to happen? and uh, also schedule maintenance in time so that before you actually have a breakdown or you are forced to shut something down, you are, you are able to remediate the, the, the problem. And uh, this- On I, your schedule, instead of waiting for it to break down and shut down your assembly lines. Absolutely, that, exactly. Because again, it's about when you want to be able to uh, take care of it is when you should take care of it, not when you're forced to. And I think, again, this is a reflection of what we can now do with SAP HANA uh, underlying these kind of processes. Puneet, I want to thank you again for sharing with all of us. Likewise, um, Kevin, it's always a pleasure and uh, thank you. <laughs>